and we're live welcome everybody it's me mdc the mdc here in mdc rx and your friendly neighborhood pharmacist so recently in the pharmacy i had this young lady coming up to me and she was asking me you have anything for over the counter for yeast infection and i'm like um not really to um treat it for not, not a fulsome treatment you don't really have a fulsome treatment of yeast infection over the counter and then I proceeded to give her the, the um, general questions that you ask when you know whenever they're inquiring for certain medication. And basically, I realized after a while that she does not have yeast infection. She has a BV infection. If you don't know what a BV infection is, it's bacterial vaginosis. So I decided in this video to just give you all the difference between BV and yeast infection. So is it a yeast infection or is it BV? All right, so BV in the name bacterial vaginosis, it's a bacterial infection. Both of them are infections, but BV is caused by a bacteria. I think it was Gardnerella bacterialis. Yeah, if that's it, I'll put the name down here. Um, and uh, yeast infection now is a fungal infection. Again, infection, but fungal caused by Candida albicans. Now, the thing why they're so easy to get mixed up is because they both present with itching and a little burning on either the outside or a little bit inside of the vagina and some discharge so a lot of women when they hear discharge itching burning yeast infection let me go treat a yeast infection and in places where yeast infection um treatments are over the counter now fully over the counter then that's going to be an issue because if you're treating a yeast infection with antibiotics that are going to make the yeast infection worse and if you're treating a bacterial infection with antifungal medication, that can make the bacterial infection worse as well. Which is again why the pharmacists are here, you know, kind of regulate things. Ask up when you ask up so you can know what is actually happening. Now, other than what causes it in terms of the kind of infection, I'm going to just go through what you can actually look for to differentiate if it's BV or yeast infection. If you made it this far in the video, just click the subscribe button for more health and wellness information. And give this video a little thumbs up. It all really helps out this channel. And leave a comment of any questions you might have. Now I'm going to break down the differences into three main topics. That being discharge texture, discharge color, and odor. So let's start off with the discharge texture. Now let's first look at bacterial vaginosis. I know let's start with the yeast infection because that's the more common one. Yeast infection now is going to be thick and clumpy. The discharge is kind of thick and clumpy, and it's a I'm not going to color it, but yeah, thick and clumpy, kind of like a cottage cheese texture. While for BV or bacterial vaginosis, now it's more thin and smooth, so it's more a thin, smooth type of discharge. Now, move into discharge color. No, when it comes down to the yeast infection, it's normally white, like a white kind of, you know, thick, clumpy discharge, as opposed to your BV, where you actually might have a color. So once there's a color, BV. So if it's green, kind of grayish, um, what else? If it's brown, I got brown one time, um, not me. The patient, <laughs> the patient was telling me about brown one time, and I'm like, okay, all right, yeah, that might be BV. Um, yeah, so once it has a color, BV. And the last thing, odor, when it comes down to yeast infection, odorless. Yeast infections are odorless, it doesn't pro um, produce any odor. But when it comes down to BV, there might be a foul smelling odor, or it might smell a little fishy or something. Once there's like an odor, like a odor, like a pungent odor, BV. And for now, those are the main differences between yeast and bacteria yeast infection between yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis before we go did you know that some antibiotics can actually cause a yeast infection so if you know you're gonna go on antibiotics from your doctor just talk to them about okay how can i either prevent a yeast infection or what are my chances of getting a yeast infection from these antibiotics and also did you know that you can get bacterial vaginosis from having um, sexual relations with someone that's new so if you have a new partner and you're having unprotected sex then you can get bacterial vaginosis no it's not because he probably like transmitted it to you but it's just his new um like bacteria his new natural bacteria getting used to your new um your natural bacteria sometimes that can throw off your ph and then you get an increase in 
bacteria and you get the infection bacterial vaginosis all right that's it for the video thank you all so much for watching if you have any more questions just leave them down in the comments don't forget to click like and to leave a subscribe well leave a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps with the channel i think we're almost at the, um 300 subscribers so no, go ahead and share it around so you know different people can subscribe and join the family and make it even bigger thank you all so much for coming this week and i hope to see you next week again